We're recording the session as of now. No problem. Thank you, Christoph. Um, just a quick recap. So last year we um, started with our self solutions, not infrastructure uh, proposition, where we're actually uh, seeing um, where there's a commoditization of infrastructure. So um, just selling a VPS or plain infrastructure or bare metal is uh, not sufficient anymore in order to stand out from the crowd. Um, and uh, this graph clearly shows that we can't deny that the public uh, cloud offering is actually um, um, a new trend, uh, but it's also a successful new trend uh, with new players in a market that was uh, previously owned by uh, hosters or managed service providers. So we were thinking, how can we help our channel partners to stand out from the crowd? So how can you be that, um, well, in this particular case, uh, how can you be this red gummy bear um, in order to be different than the others? Um, as said, we already um, showed you one trend. We also work with public data uh, providers, um, as you can clearly see here, in terms of most popular content management systems. WordPress by far, and this is not something anybody um, uh, can deny or will discuss, by far WordPress is the most popular content management system nowadays. Every second website published today is based on WordPress. So if we would simply combine these two statistics where we know that there is a commoditization of infrastructure and where we know that, that there is a large audience for WordPress management, um, those two are, are, are key elements for Plesk um, to say, as a service provider, um, if you would want to be part of the growth, you should be different. So in order to explain what we think is, um, in order to get the message across, what is a solution server? I'd like to show you first an example what's not a, a solution server. So not the way to stand out. I think these are, um, I would not even call them traditional way of um, uh, infrastructure proposition, but at the end of the day, if you would be um, addressing a specific solution, I'd say you would have to tell whatever the, the customer needs. I don't think the customer actually comes to your website and then knows if he needs one, two, or three or more cores or what the amount of transfer, disk space, whatever they need. I think they're looking just um, to host either one website or if they're an agency to manage multiple websites and if they're tech savvy enough, they can do it themselves. And otherwise, um, they might need to have a managed service. And in this particular way, I think um, this is um, this is fair. I mean, there, there are plenty of offers um, like these. Um, what you don't, I think what we all understand is that we don't want to be a bottom feeder where we compete on price where we have the same uh, subset of customers moving from provider on a monthly basis to be on the, um, on the cheapest server they could get. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, is this a viable margin you can make if these customers give you multiple support calls? I think the, um, the margin that you have on the specific customer has already vaporized. So the question is, how can we still be relevant in a time where there are um, um, public cloud providers connecting a multiple nodes to the um, to the internet and where we know WordPress is actually the number one um, content management system. So this was an example, but well, our definition is not a solution. So it's uh, industry vocabulary, which might be confusing. So I want to make it quite clear. What is the definition of Plesk of a solution? Um, in this example, on the left hand, we have your server uh, or the infrastructure, let's say, uh, which is a combined service. The service provider, the managed service provider, the hoster or telco could provide to the end customer. Um, and, and like we just said, we've just seen a few uh, examples where there's a proposition of just the server or just the infrastructure. Um, well, we would actually would like you to differentiate. You would, in order to be unique, in order to stand out, we want you to bundle it with the Plesk edition, potentially, uh, or like with an, an Plesk extension, and then there's like a fourth building brick where there are additional services. We'll go a bit into detail about the Plesk extension bit. I think um, the Plesk edition, which is the main Plesk license, is quite clear and is similar to server and infrastructure. And with the Plesk extensions, we can play a bit. The additional service is something where you can stand out as a service provider. You have to think of maybe a commercial certificate, an SSL certificate. Uh, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I've just read a news article today, again, that the latest uh,
d'accordo um, on top of this bundle you could add an additional backup service or maybe manage services but this is like i said it's an additional bug but all these components combined is from our perspective a solution not just the infrastructure but like the full suite so we have a few which i would like to the disk space the traffic um why is this a solution because it, it clearly is targeted at a specific um audience so we've got a um a, a virtual server targeted at uh, the wordpress users we've got a dedicated wordpress server that's uh, targeted agencies and then we've got a uh, responsible it server um, and then instead of listing the technical specifications of the proposition that you're offering you're actually providing the value add what is the solution what is the customer want i mean the customer wants to host one or multiple websites they, they don't know about like if they need four or six cores and I think that's the mindset we have to, to, to change a bit. And this is a second example where um, it's, it's a bit more flexible, where um, uh, this is, uh, again, this is a, a targeted WordPress offering, but it, it simply says we've got a subscription which is ideal for freelancers, or we have a subscription that's ideal for a small team of web pros. And then there's the top one that's ideal for larger agencies. At the end of the day, instead of showing how many cores there are, it, it kind of automatically says if you are part of a specific audience, you fit into this proposition. And I think that's, um, um, that's the way how we should differentiate nowadays. Instead of simply saying what, um, what hardware requirements and specifications we, we, we offer to the customers, we're giving them uh, the solution that they were actually looking for because they wanted to launch a website or manage websites and manage services. They don't need the physical disk space. Well, obviously, in order to get their website up and running, they need this, but that's not what we have to communicate in order to actually attract the customers. And with this example, I just wanted to show you guys that if you still have the urgency to show the specifications in the proposition, if you still want to have like commercial extensions or free extensions, um, you, could, you could change the proposition a bit um, to your likings. Again, it's just an example of a different way of showing the value proposition instead of just plain infrastructure. We're set to go a bit more into details on the Plesk expansion catalog. Um, we've had a heavy core on Plesk in the old days where we actually had a lot of Plesk add-ons which were part of the core. So if you would want to uh, release a new Plesk update or a major version, we had to make sure everything was compatible with this update. Um, nowadays, we've actually made a lightweight core where um, you actually have everything that you need for the administrative task and the shared hosting services that you would expect from Plesk. All the additional stuff, that do not touch the core, we've moved into the extension catalog. So the extension catalog is your toolbox to build integrated and tailored solutions. So you could actually um, utilize the extension catalog in multiple ways. So either um, you could still push Plesk in a very traditional way, just the infrastructure and the license, and then simply say, look guys, Plesk has an extension catalog. It's some kind of candy shop and you can take any extension you want. I want to emphasize the extension catalog is not like the app store where you can only have premium licenses. Yes, we've got premium stuff, but I want to make sure that you understand it's a 50% of the stuff we have in there is free for free. So these are web ops for web pros and for developers tools that they could use free of charge. It's just a one click installation where they have an extension that is compatible with Plesk. And then there are a few upsell potentials where there are premium extensions in there. So it's not just um, paid extensions as well. Um, but what we try to achieve, uh, like actually how we've positioned it, is either you let the um, customer, the server administrator, decide which extension to take. But we, from experience, we simply know because at this stage we have over 100 extensions in there already, does the administrator know what extensions he needs? And like we've just said, there are specific trends in the market. You need to stand out. We think that the end customer, meaning the server administrator, recognizes you as the, as the service provider as a trusted partner. He will trust you to actually compose the bundle that he needs in order to, let's say, satisfy the needs he has to find the right solution. Um, so we, we actually would recommend to change the way around in, in order to create a solution already that has all the extensions relevant for a target audience pre-bundled. In essence, that means instead of having a Plesk template with infrastructure and a license, 
you'd have to change the template into the infrastructure with Plesk and the extensions up front. In order to um, effectualize this, in order to make this uh, a bit more easier, we are actually introducing two new Plesk editions. So you already know the Web Admin, Web Pro, and Web Host editions. Those are the three on the left. Um, and um, recently, we've introduced the WordPress edition and the Business and Collaboration edition. Um, by default, these two editions are equipped with a Web Host edition and come pre-bundled with WordPress Smart Updates, the SEO Toolkit, uh, SpeedKit, BoldGrid, Backup to Cloud Pro, and Revisium. This is the WordPress edition, obviously. Um, I mean, you can tell your, your, yourself as well. These two are off-the-shelf solutions that we have pre-bundled. This means this is, like we've said in the introduction, or like in the invite as well, this is a single SKU. This is one product, um, hard bundled, with a very aggressive pricing in order to give you a unique opportunity, not just to sell Plesk or not to um, position a WordPress offering where, in my opinion, if you simply say we've got a specialized WordPress um, offering where with one click installation you have a, a, like a custom installation of WordPress, I mean, this is not sophisticated enough anymore. If you want to make a change, I mean, you should work with something like what we have with the WordPress toolkit, bundle it with Smart Updates. I'm not sure if everybody's familiar with what Smart Updates is. Um, within Plesk, we already had the option to enforce Smart Updates, uh, to enforce um, automated updates for themes and plugins. Only just community-driven, we, we've learned this was not enough because themes and plugins are not always um, updated at the same time. So if you would enforce a theme update, but your plugins are incompatible, your website breaks. So actually, even though we had automated updates, Nobody used them. With Onyx 17.8, one of the features we've introduced is WordPress Smart Updates. It actually creates in the background a clone of um, the WordPress instance, and on this specific clone, it already applies the update. Right? So on, based on artificial intelligence, it actually compares the two versions. And if, if they match, then WordPress Toolkit applies the upgrade. If not, you get a notification. But at least it's the best of both worlds. Uh, both worlds. So you, you get the automated updates, and for service providers and agencies, this was the most requested feature from the community, and we're bundling it. We're bundling it in these two options. So with uh, this proposition, you have a guarantee that, or at least um, there's a minimum minimal risk um, where you ever get hacked either through an outdated theme or plugin or database, simply because with this proposition, you have WordPress toolkit, smart updates, everything in one. What we have been lacking in the old days is the enablement. So yes, you could pre-bundle Plesk, you could pre-bundle it with the license and extensions, but how to enable it? So with these solutions, you also get the welcome extension. Um, and the extension is, um, We've made it as an, and this is an extension, so it is highly customizable for you as well. Based on JSON script, where you could actually change the logo we've got here, um, uh, Elvis Plesky, you could change this like um, to your corporate identity with the logo, the text we have here. It takes you in a wizard step by step through the enablement of all the extensions um, that we have available, right? So any extensions that comes with these new additions. Um, you also make sure the end customer, in terms of these, the administrator of the server, enables these services. So he's not just buying them and paying for them, but he's actually utilizing them as well. So this is an, a, a, a quick screenshot of the WordPress edition. And um, with the Business and Collaboration edition, it's, uh, it's the same. So you could see like if the administrator has performed the first steps, they're grayed out and checked. Right? So it's, it, and that's why we consider it a solution. It's, off the shelf, ready for you as a service provider, and it's a turnkey solution for the server administrator. It's a, it's a full, like from end to end delivery. Um, and again, it's just uh, like I wanted to show you, both editions come with this uh, default extension, but again, you can customize, you can localize it to your uh, local language, um, corporate identity, and there are even too much to explain uh, for this webinar, uh, but just to make sure the welcome extension is highly customizable and you can tailor it to your specific needs. What I want to make sure is that everybody understands is it's, it's one skew to rule them all. That's, that's how, we've, how we've called the webinar as well. It's something where 
if we would analyze the proposition that we have combined, because we wanted to create, to provide you with the highest value proposition possible. Maybe if you look into details, maybe you're thinking, maybe the customer doesn't need to eat it or with, um, or the revision enterprise. But the pricing that we're introducing these bundles with is such uh, on an aggressive level that even though if you would take out one or two of these extensions, you would break the concept because it's all hard bundled, you would need to simply take, I mean, there's no need. I mean, you could give these extensions because of the three, three extensions in the proposition free of charge. Like we said, we know that there's a public cloud trend going on. We know that if you want to position yourself in the WordPress community, you have to have more than just a one-click installer. And this is what we're providing you with. Um, what we have done is these editions are published on GitHub as well. So this is all open source where you could simply read um, for the WordPress edition, the documentation, why the WordPress edition, um, the ideal customer, and what's pre-installed, so a bit more background. So um, there's also free extensions like Uptime Robots, page, uh, Google PageSpeed. So here in the overview, in the, in the slide deck, we have the, um, the commercial extensions listed, but there's more. So if you would want to create your proposition on your website, obviously I would recommend to also emphasize on the value proposition of these free extensions, because again, it's integrated. It's not something you have to add. It's by default through the extension catalog, it works. Right, so this is the um, um, WordPress uh, server. You have the install script, something you could simply um, take out of the box. And if you need help with these, um, feel free to contact your Plus representative. And for the business and collaboration edition, we've got the same. We've got the, I think it's clear for everybody in the call, where uh, why the ideal customer, um, everything you need to know of what's pre-installed, all the information you can find simply on GitHub, and again, also the, the install script and the readme file first. Something for you to explore yourself. Additionally, to, in addition to it, these are also available on the um, Plesk resource library, which I'm quite sure you're familiar with, where you can find um, all Plesk logos, Onyx Collateral, um, all the icons that we use in 17.8, so I'm quite sure you're familiar with the resource library. If not, I would highly recommend you to check it out. Um, the part, as a partner, so what, what I'm showing you here is the uh, manufacturer um, recommended retail price. So this is what we will sell these uh, solutions in uh, as a placeholder on test.com as well. Um, so in the online store as a placeholder, these will show. You get 25% discount. It's fixed for any partner level. Why? Because of the aggressive pricing. We can't differentiate on partner level. We have multiple licenses where um, we have taken such an aggressive price point that we can't go lower depending on uh, price tier. So it's a fixed 25% discount for you as a partner. In case you would want to upsell the extension pack. So let's say so if you would want to, if you would have an existing customer who does not want to obviously decommission the server, start from scratch again, is simply to get an addition. If you would want to bring them the value proposition of these solutions, you could also use the extension pack. So if you would have already an existing customer, you could also provide them with the extension pack. You have to keep in mind that these customers have to run 17.8 because some of the extensions that are integrated uh, or that, that come with this extension pack um, are compatible with 17.8 uh, uh, onwards only. Again, also on these, extension packs, you would receive 25% partner discount. So again, this is in a, um, if for any reason, if you would want to not use web host, but web pro, or if you want to use your own Plesk licenses, you could also bundle a Plesk license with an extension pack and you would reach the same end result, right? So it's an upsell opportunity for existing customers. Again, make sure that they're on 17.8. Um, we've simply have both options the solution, so that's the addition, that's the um, full suite, including the Plesk license, or simply take one of the extension, uh, extension packs as upsell proposition for uh, existing install base. In order to emphasize on what we can do, I simply want to give you, um, I, I don't want to confuse you with this slide, it's just um, we have off-the-shelf solutions for you, 
but I want to make sure that you understand that with the toolbox, our extension catalog, you could create your own. So again, if we would simply focus on something, if you'd say, but I don't want the off-the-shelf solution, it doesn't fit my corporate DNA, uh, I want to have uh, something else, you could also do it yourself. So I want to make sure, um, what I've, I, I, this is obviously not as clean as, as you might uh, expect, this is something I built myself. So on the left, it would be a shared hosting proposition where you would have, as a shared hosting provider, um, a server equipped with Plesk Web Host for shared hosting purposes. Uh, purposes. Each customer, obviously, each subscription is then equipped with the WordPress Toolkit because it comes with uh, Plesk by default. And you can assign on subscription level, if you would equip this uh, shared hosting server with the, license, uh, the right license for WordPress Smart Updates and CO Toolkit, which is also a great new feature um, that we've released in 17.8, you could also create a tailored solution, right? So you don't need to go with what we have off the shelf. You could also create your own in order to differentiate. So in this proposition on the right hand side, uh, the, the 2999, again, this is all fictive, where you would at least address, manage multiple work, uh, WordPress projects, where it would be then a VPS, where you would simply equip, uh, where you create a template, where it has the infrastructure, that's something you provide with the Plesk license with Pro, and in this case, you automatically install, um, you add WordPress Smart Updates 30 domains and the SEO toolkit, which is a commercial license in this perspective, in this proposition. I just want to make sure that you understand you can create more value with Plesk um, than just a, a, a plain infrastructure proposition. And I think that's the way forward. Um, I, I hope it's clear. This is um, just an example how you can create your own solution based on your infrastructure or any public infrastructure you'd like with Plesk solution, with a Plesk license, and then extensions from the extension catalog. Having said that, I would like to um, change the presenter mode um, to my colleague Christian. He will see where is my mouse. That's interesting. Here it is. Participants. Um, where Christian will continue the presentation, telling you about um, share and earn. Maybe a, a, a really quick introduction on share and earn with Plesk. Obviously, we have, um, thanks to you guys, uh, a, a, a global footprint, right? I mean, our business is channels. Um, we do everything through our partners. And the solutions are great for increasing ARPU um, or at least um, having more value from one specific net new customer. But we also understand that you might already have a huge install base. How can we address that specific install base? How can we position smart updates with those customers? How can we potentially position CO toolkit with these customers? So this is where I think uh, share and earns comes into place where it's not necessarily aimed at net new customers, but which gives you the opportunity to still communicate and address uh, Plesk extensions to your existing install base and benefit from it as well. So I have a piece of the pie with us and this is something Christian will explain to you. Let me see if I have to unmute you, Christian. Where are you? Okay, I hope you can all hear me. Okay, I share my screen now. Okay, I hope you can all see my screen. Okay, as Thomas told you, Plesk comes with more and more extensions, free ones and paid ones. And we want you, our partners, of course, to participate from this as well. On the, other, on the other hand, we see and heard that adding new products like extensions might take a lot, lot of effort. You need to build an order process and a cancellation process for it, take care of the invoicing and so on. But anyhow, without any campaigns on your side, customers won't learn about new extensions and yeah, they won't order them. This is why we invented the Share and Earn program. With this program, you receive a voucher code, which gives you in total a 20% discount on the agreed extension. For having a win-win situation, your customer receives a 10% discount on the extension and you receive a 10% kickback directly on your invoice. 
The discounted price is not only valid for one month, but it is as long as, uh, as, long as valid as the license is active. You don't need to implement any changes in your billing system or any technical uh, stuff you need to change. It's just marketing campaigns and yeah, you just need to inform and promote the chosen extension so that in the end, you can increase the revenue per user. Once you received your voucher code, you can start directly with your campaign. Aside from the voucher code, you also re receive a deep link. The deep link could be used right away and you may include it in your campaign. If the end customer clicks on the deep link, as you can see here, he will be redirected to our online store where he immediately sees the regular and the discounted price. Without the deep link, so if you just use the voucher code, the end customer could enter it directly in our store manual. Let's have a look at all available extensions for the Share and Own program. There is our mentioned business and collaboration pack, as well as our new WordPress pack. Of course, our smart updates are also available. Same for the Joomla toolkit, the Plus Premium email, and the Zeo Toolkit. As many partners know and value our Power Pack, we included it as well as the additional language pack. And most of you also know Kernel Care, Cypro, Revisium, Cloudflare, and our Acronis packages. They are also eligible for our Shared Earn program. To participate on this, just contact your account manager. Together with him, you identify the extensions you want to push. As mentioned in the beginning, your customers won't order an extension they are not aware of. That's why we need to work with you on the marketing campaign and a way to inform your customer about the extensions and the promo code. A campaign could be promoting the extension via landing page, blog post, social media, newsletter, and so on. Since you know your customer best, you also know best how to inform them. Another idea is to include some information about features, extensions, and the voucher code in the welcome email, which you, at least I hope, send out to new customers. For example, if you plan to push our Zero Toolkit and install our free version on your new server, you could include some introduction of the Zero Toolkit in the welcome email. Furthermore, you could mention that upgrades are available and the customer receives a 10% discount as well. Another way to promote the extensions and to communicate with your Plesk customers are our promo banners, which we have in Plesk. With those, you can address the Plesk admin directly. But let me show it how it works. I'm going to switch to a live demo now. Okay, here we have a normal Plesk You can either add promo banners through an any file in the panel any locally on the server or through our product configuration. I'd say con configurations are the better way to configure promo banners because they allow you to implement changes without touching the server. If you go to Partner Central, I hope you are all aware of this, you see product configurations right here. I select the configuration which is assigned to the key I use. Within here, I go to Promotions. And as you can see here, I already pre-configured some. And um, yeah, to, to add some, it's very easy. Just click on Add, you enter the URL, the promotion title, the text, the URL, button code, and the high text. So let's edit one, for example, this one. And here you can see everything you, you, you need, just need to put in. And also, what you can see here is a direct preview 
what will be shown to the customer. After we edit the promotion, we just need to activate it. So let's take this one, this one, this one, and just activate. Okay, let's have a look now at Plev, but whoa. Let's reload the site and we see, okay, mm, nothing changed yet. But what we need to do is to sync the server with our KA. On Plex Onyx, this normally happens on a daily basis. So any changed configuration should be published very quick. So let's pause it now. We go to Tools and Settings. We go to Plesk, go to the License Management, and we hit Retrieve Keys. Okay, everything went well. Okay, perfect. Let's go home. And woo, there we see it. There we have directly the promo banner, which we, yeah, which you could use to communicate with your customers. And those promo banners are not, you don't need to use them only for advertisement of Plesk extensions, but you could also use them to feature a blog post, to tell more details about your product and so on. And of course, to use it for upselling. So I just click here on buy now, or, okay, let's also choose another one. Ah, no, I think I got, already got it here on the next page. Exactly, our Joomla toolkit. When I click here on buy now, I directly entered the deep link, the deep buy URL. So you can see here the normal price and the discounted price. Okay, let's jump back to the presentation. I put in screenshots also of every step I did. So when we later send out the presentation, you directly know how it should work. And yeah, what are now the next steps? I'm sure you'd like to know the prices on all, of all extensions of our new feature, uh, of our new feature packs and so on. So the best way to do so is just get in contact with us. Contact your contact uh, your account manager and let's speak about it. Also, we fully understand that um, yeah, just throwing solutions over the fence. For example, if you don't have any customers who are interested in business and collaboration solutions, I think the business and collab pack is is not the best to offer. But if if the customers are interested in WordPress hosting or in other ways, just get in contact to us and we can identify the best extensions for you to offer in the share and um, program. And that we can work jointly with you on the campaigns and launch new solutions, and you can sign up for the share and earn program. So if there are any questions, I think we have the chat where you can just drop us a message, or as mentioned, just get in contact with your account manager, and yeah, let's discuss how we can help you. I would like to add, um, uh, I'd like to make one quick addition to this. Um, so how it works with Share and Earn, the promo code you would uh, get as a partner is your unique identifier, right? So based on this code, we can track the sales that your customer processed through plus.com. Based on this reporting, um, at the end of the month, um, we do the calculations, we provide you with the statistics um, from uh, plus.com, and automatically, the kickback that you are rewarded will be deducted from your monthly partner invoice, right? So instead of um, giving uh, you, uh, like, the physically, um, instead of wiring the money, um, we would actually um, deduct it from your partner invoice. I just saw one question. How will this all work with the um, Odin integration of Plesk? Um, with the audit integration, um, um, just as a background maybe for everybody in the call, so that's um, with one of our former um, business units um, uh, from the former Parallels family, I'd say it so, um, they will now replace their shared hosting proposition based on Plesk. Um, in order to participate with Share and Earn, you have to be a Plesk partner. If you are um, obtaining Plesk licenses through Ingram Micro, uh, Cloud Blue, Odin, uh, it's all the same. 
Um, obviously, we can't deduct or we, 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 we can't process this in the way that we've set it up in an automated planner. That's the first thing. Secondly, if um, this, um, for the majority of the extensions that are compatible with lower versions and they are part of the Share and Earn program, I'd say not a problem. If you have one of the additions um, or a newer extension that has uh, is compatible with 17.8 onwards only, I think we would have compatibility issues because I think Odin is always one step behind in their shared hosting release with what we do. Um, so that means if you want to make use of the new features, I'd say you have to push Odin uh, to integrate the latest release of Plesk. Um I, I think those are the two main um, blockers or um, hurdles you'd have to keep in mind if you want to do this through um, Odin. Any other questions? It seems we don't have any other questions. Feel free again, people on the um, top right, there's the chat function in your WebEx interface if you want to ask a question through chat. Um, I think it's quite clear, right, what we would want to achieve with uh, Share and Earn. Um, it's, um, it's, a, it's somewhere, it, it, it's a step where we would want you to benefit from the upsell of extensions to your existing install base. Um, again, I think um, what would be a very good suggestion to all of you, if you um, could reach out to your class representative, request your updated price list, because with the introduction of Plesk Onyx 17.8, we have released a lot of new extensions in the extension catalog as well, that are actually game changers. Um, those are actually helping you to create a value proposition where you can stand out. Um, obviously, in order for you to um, to create uh, the bundle and determine the price, if you don't want to take the off-the-shelf solution, you would need to know, obviously, uh, the building blocks and the prices that come with it. So, um, for a full overview, because we don't have the prices in KA available, reach out to your best representative and ask for your um, uh, price list. I see another question coming in. Um, can I transform an existing running in production Plesk install to a new solution pack, WordPress in my case? That's possible. Um, and then I'd say um, there are uh, there's the option to have the, uh, the extension pack. I'm going to unmute Christian because he is waving at me that he would really like to answer this question. Give me a second. Um, thanks, Thomas. Um, it's easy possible. You can yeah, just order the feature pack and add it license-wise on the server as an additional license. And then you need to install all extensions which are included in the feature pack. So the smart updates and so on. And if you install them extensions-wise together with the license, it works out of the box. I recommend also to um, add the welcome extension. So as Thomas already mentioned, for the onboarding, uh, for the onboarding purpose, so that every new customer or that also the existing customers sees the, see the great new features which come with the feature packs. Thank you, Ingrid. Looking at the time, it's also 11.45, and that's somehow what we had promised, uh, to uh, keep it to uh, 45 minutes. Um, once again, I would like to um, thank all of you who participated, uh, who took the time to, um, to join the session. I hope it was um, interesting to you. We are actually really thrilled with the two new additions. Um, so again, the WordPress one, uh, I think, is clear. The other one is targeted at um, uh, the, the, the smaller SME segment, the businesses with um, Premium email, I think this is something if you'd be interested in, you should have to look into it. It's, it's a great, um, it comes with plus premium mail, which is simply a high end, um, a, like a way more sophisticated um, uh, web mail alternative with shared calendaring, with shared address books, with shared files and everything. 
um, uh, but I'd say at the price level of a regular web mail. So that's something I think if you would have a large footprint in either startups or at least the SME segment, something to look into as well. Um, once again, I'd like to thank all of you for um, joining um, this webinar. We'll share the slides. We'll, um, and once again, if you have additional questions, please reach out to your Plus representative. Thank you.